Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm going to talk about, this feels really far away. Today, I'm going to talk about, still feels far away. Today, I'm going to talk about why your traps are not growing. Simple reason. You are not training them properly. If your idea of a trap workout is solely to do some head jerking shrugs with one plate per side, uh, not good enough, okay? That would make a, a good gif. Not good enough at all, okay? Shrugs need to be done properly. But there are more than just shrugs to be done. Understand? Good. There are three types of way to train your traps. So first of all, if you're wondering why I'm making this video, or why should we listen to you? Your traps aren't big. The first thing everyone always says about me when I'm wearing either a fitted shirt or I'm shirtless is my trap development. So I do believe I have some sort of authority to speak on this matter. Three types of ways to train your traps. I put them into three different categories. There is explosive ways to train your traps. There is ways that you have to just stabilize and hold a stretch. And then there is like slow and controlled with high time under tension. Okay. Now let's just talk about each category. When it comes to explosive things, some stuff I like, well, there's really only one, snatch grip high pulls. I made a separate video about that. Go check that out somewhere in my videos. Maybe I'll plug it here, there, here, there, somewhere. Just go to my channel, videos, type in high pulls, you'll find it. But some other things such as power cleans, hang snatches, hang cleans, Anything where you're really explosive. It's a nice quick contraction of your traps. And then what makes it even better is when you lower the weight, it comes back down and it's very stressful on your traps to absorb that weight at the bottom. So it's an explosive movement plus a very hard stretch at the bottom. Now, let's talk about number Two, the second way you could train your traps. This is stabilization things and stuff that give it a stretch throughout the movement. Everyone probably does these, except for the people with small traps. Deadlifts, rack pulls, block pulls, Romanian deadlifts, things in that nature where even farmers walks, which might even be better than that stuff because you are moving and the weight is constantly moving as well, and your traps need to absorb that. Similar to doing the explosive movements at the bottom, it needs to absorb that stretch and stabilize. So you're not actually moving any weight here. You don't wanna be moving your arms or your shoulder blades. You just want your traps to stretch and stabilize and absorb the force. And the final way is what you guys probably do right now. But when it's not combined with the other two, it's the missing link. So it's slow and controlled. You could get some dumbbells, do like a set of 100 until your grip runs out, sets of 50, just high, high time under tension. Slow and controlled. You could even hold it at the top for two seconds and lower it down. You can even go fast to get that stretch or you can go slow throughout the whole thing. It's completely up to you. So... In conclusion, let's talk about the three ways to train your traps. And if you're not doing all three of these, that's why you have small traps. Number one, explosive movements. My favorite is snatch grip high pulls. Number two, everyone's probably doing these. Deadlifts, block pulls, rack pulls, snatch grip variations, stuff like that. They stabilize your traps under the weight. And the third option is slow and controlled shrugs or any type of face pull, something along those lines. So, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments and class is dismissed.